gore, stances, world events, territories, elders, and aliens? Primeval Horizon promises this and so much more. This dinosaur survival game is headed by JJ and a small team of 14 developers. The game is coming out on PC for Steam and will be around 15 US dollars when released. Although there is no specific release date for the game, it is said they're planning to try and release around the two year mark and they've been through about a year and a half of development so far, so definitely keep up with this one. Primeval Horizon plans to be as realistic as possible with other game modes outside of survival. They even plan to have proximity voice chat in game, which is something I haven't seen a lot of dinosaur survival games do and is definitely an interesting take on the genre. This is a highly thought out game with years of planned content that you can view on the Trello on their Discord and will be developing an Unreal Engine 5. Backers will be the first to have access to the Rift map, playable Ceratosaurus, and playable Musasaurus. While the game features a lot of lesser known animals, there definitely will be some dinos that we all know and love like Tyrannosaurus Rex and Torvosaurus. Our very first update will include Dakota Raptor, Anzu, Proceratosaurus, and Stegosaurus. It'll also include things such as fractures, sickness, diets, scent, and septic bite. Update 2 will introduce Barosuchus, a four-legged crocodilian predator, and Edmontonia, a notosaurid in the Ankylosauria family. Other systems such as comfort, burrowing, immunity, and malnutrition will also be coming to the game. Speaking of mechanics, Primeval Horizon has a ton of concept art demonstrating the animals' behaviors that they intend for the game. Pouncing, thrashing, and ambushing is shown in great detail, and hopefully they will be able to pull it off. Growth and nesting will be a thing where you start as a baby and have the chance to grow to an elder. Skins will be a mix of genetic inheritance and personal customization. There will be seamless growth and advanced locomotion, meaning if you run into a log, you don't have to go all the way around to get around it, you can just step right over it. Compared to other games in the genre, this is a huge quality of life update. Gore will be quite visceral with the game rating itself at 16 plus with the ability to rip off limbs for various dinos, it makes sense that they would do that. Dynamic scarring and wounds will also play into the buffs and debuffs available for each creature. I'm very happy with the dynamic approach to combat they seem to be taking. It really has the potential to be the dinosaur game that has it all. There are 8 planned AI animals for the game, so you definitely won't always be in a situation where it's player versus player. And for those of you who prefer single player, that is definitely a mode that they've talked about doing in the future. The full roster of all the planned dinosaurs is so big that I didn't really include it in this video, but they definitely have it on their Discord if you'd like to check that out. If you want to support the game, you can do so through their Patreon. The egg roll starts at $5, juvenile is $20, adult is $50, elder is $100, and beyond the horizon is $150. You can also help by being a paleo researcher or by designing realistic skins for the dinosaurs. Ceratosaurus is the playable that has received the most love so far from the Primeval Horizon dev team and it probably will continue to be one of their favorites. To be honest, I'm not surprised and I'm actually pretty happy because I also love Ceratosaurus. You can definitely see bits of inspiration from other animal survival games, which is really interesting. The rest of this clip is just the Serato animations, so if you are interested in that, definitely keep watching. If not, you can skip ahead to 454 for the alien lore.
the lore for the game is based on aliens, with the concept art for them already drawn up. The aliens will not be playable in the game, but you will be able to find out more about them through environmental storytelling. And who knows, you may even get to catch a glimpse of them running around the map. Everything I've seen of the map so far is absolutely gorgeous. The maps already have a working day and night cycle, and because they're doing this in Unreal Engine 5, the graphics are amazing. There is no night vision as nighttime is purely for the atmosphere and they want to make it so you can still see where you're going. That being said, there is no shortage of some intriguing points of interest and the map is going to look better and better as time goes on. There are multiple biomes and environmental disasters that will definitely affect your character, but with the migration mechanic and hotspots, there should be no shortages of dinos anywhere you go. Honestly, this game has so much to show for itself. It really makes me excited to see where they're going to go and if they're really going to be able to pull off everything they're talking about. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.